I'm thinking through a project like this, I kind of want to map out in my head or on a piece of paper sort of what I want to do and where I want things to go. Um, so in this case, right, we have this need um, to adopt a persona every day with a secret code name. Um, and so we can use pins for that um, kind of as a um, uh, the backbone for this because we might end up deciding that we want, um, for one, uh, a shiny app, right? That we can log into and we can see what our what our code name is for the day. We might want a daily email that tells us what our code name is delivered to our box. Or we could even go so far as, you know, let's, let's make a, um, a Slack bot, right? That runs Ooh. and then sends me a Slack message and tells me what my name is, these kinds of things, right? So, so we might have need for this information of what our daily generated code name is going to be delivered in multiple ways. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I think using a pen for this information of what's my real name and what's my code name gonna be. So we're gonna start off, right? And we're gonna have this pen. We're gonna have our our username, right? You have to forgive my, my handwriting um, and our code name. Right. And so this is just going to be data, right? What's this going to be? So we're going to take this. You'll love this. We're just going to stick this thing on a pen, right? Use this here. How are we going to get this information, right? We want this to be updated on a daily basis. And so one of the best ways that we can do this, let's make a little script, right? And this is going to be generate. That's what that says. Generate pen. This is going to be a our markdown document. And we're just going to schedule this little puppy, right? We'll publish this on the connect. We'll schedule it. So every single day, my R markdown document is going to take my list of users, take a list of generated code names, smush them together and stick it into a pen. So we'll do that. Stick this up here. And then from this, right, we have other things that we can do. We can make a shiny app, right? You are, right? Here's your shiny app, right? And you could do um, shiny, right? Stick this here. Um, you could do other things, right? You could have a Slack bot. You could have an email, right? And that email, you know, we would generate that. We'd generate that with an R markdown document. And Blastula, for example, right? Um, have Connect send that on our behalf via R markdown. Um, the Slack bot as well, we could generate that with a script, cook that up in R markdown. So all of these things are using our pen. So these are all the little elements that we're going to put into place. Um, you might go back to this beginning and say, well, okay, how are we going to get our, get our usernames? Um, and where are we going to pull this from? Just so happens, I have another pin just sitting around that does have um, all of the usernames for um, folks that are on our Connect server. So I've already got this as a pin. So what a fun project. We're actually going to start with data that's pinned, bring it into an R markdown, create another pin, and then use it for downstream assets. Sound fun? All right, so let's get cooking. We'll start with this R Markdown document. That's going to be our pin generator, right? So we need to pull in our usernames. So um, generate um, pin. Singular. I'm only doing one pin. All right clean all of this stuff up. And so what do we want to do? First, we need to get some libraries in. We're going to need pens. We're going to need dplyr. Um, my favorite, I need to spell it correctly. Um, my favorite little package for um, generating code names one little one called IDs. Okay, so this should be all that we need. First, we're gonna go grab the user data information that we have. So we're gonna use pens to find a board. 
um, board RSC connect and run that. So, yep, we've got our board defined and let's get our users. Send board and read into my board and it is, what is it? User, users, user, I think it's user. Let's try it. Hey, it seemed to work. Okay, awesome. We've got user information, 166 users, cool. All right, so we can take this. Um, we don't need any of this other stuff. What I wanna do is just get username and assign a code name. Um, and my ultimate goal for this Shiny app um, is I want the user to um, log in, um, pull up the Shiny app, and I want the Shiny app to know who that user is and then tell them their code name. Um, so we're gonna use um, for that app, just um, kind of charting the course here. Um, we're gonna use this ability to do session dollar sign user um, on the app so that we can distinguish who is who. And now let's make up some code names. Um, so let's make a tibble here, code names. Um, let's take users and we just want username and we want to mutate. Let's stick a code name equals, uh, let's see, I gotta go by memory. Yeah. Let's play around a minute with this IDs um, function. IDs, adjective animal, okay. Adjective animal in equals one. Let's do, let's just for kicks, let's spit out five. One adjective to make case and let's just see what we get. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, no, I don't like some of those, but all right, run this a couple of times and we've got some good stuff. Okay, so this is what we wanna do. We wanna use adjective animal. Code name equals adjective animal. And let's see. Some of these can be a little bit um, wild. So let's put, I remember from other playing with this package, it gets a little, um, some of the names get to be a little bit excessive if you don't put a maximum length on it. So let's see what we get. That's not good, everybody's a frugal pickle. Um, we need to do, oh, let's do this. Oops. In equal, no, in row. In, uh, mm -hmm. in equals number of rows in users. Is that gonna get me? So I have unique names. Yes. Doey Nayala. That's awesome. Concave flamingo. Yeah. All right, now we are cooking. Every time we run this, it's going to cook up new names. So I want to make it unique for every day. Um, so let's let's set the seed um, and does this work as numeric? State. All right, set the seed, code names. Do we get the same? Ah, I didn't set the seed twice. Lazy mute. Perfect. Okay, we have stable code names. And now all we need to do, I'm not documenting my code very well. Create code name. This is obvious. Table. And now we need to append it. So we're going to take our board, type that into pen right, and we're going to put code names to it. I'm gonna publish this as well, so we can put it on a schedule. So let's publish this little, put that there. We're gonna publish this. Here we go, we are deployed. All right, so we've got our pen generator. We're writing to pens now. 
let's schedule this. Otherwise, we're going to end up with the same code name every day. So let's run this and yeah, we should probably run this at just a little after midnight every day. That sounds good. So now this is going to run. It's going to run on a daily basis. So here's our graphic of where we are. Um, it's going to run and every day update this pen for us. So said we wanted to make this shiny app, right? That's going to code name. It's going to tell us every day what our code name is. I am not the world's most elegant shiny uh, developer, but I will get by. There we go. Yes. We love a good clean slate. Okay. So for our shiny app, we're going to need shiny. Uh, let's see, are we going to need anything else? Or of course, we're going to need pens. Again, can't spell. Pens. Okay. Run that, run that. And then, all right, so what do we want this to do? Um, first, we're going to want to bring in, um, bring in our code name table. So we're going to do that. Board, this is going to look familiar, right? Board equals um, uh, RS connect. And code names equals can read board. And then what do we call it? What did we call it? Did we call it code names? I think so. All right, cross your fingers. Ha ha, we're cooking code names. There we are, you lazy neat. Okay, so where were we? Um, we need to bring it all in and have a nice little greeting. So um, let's do like on our main panel, let's give, um, let's put, put, uh, put, and this will just be our greeting. All right. Um, and then what is our greeting? It is going to be something along the lines of, what do we do? Render text, right? Render text. And then let's do like uh, east. Hello, secret agent. And then we need to put in the username, whoever we determine it to be. All right. Um, we need to figure out what our username is going to be. Um, so how do we know the username? So two things, right? We're going to know the username based on who is logged in. Um, so the username is going to be, all right, so um, username equals session dollar sign user. Um, however, I wanna be able to test this locally. Um, so I'm gonna do a little environment swaparoo. So we're going to do, all right, so we're going to set our default, all right? And we're just developing locally. And we're going to say that our default is me. Um, and then when you're using, um, when you're using the session dollar sign user and you want to, that can be identified with the um, environment variable for our config. So let's do get environment variable our config active. So if the active configuration is RS Connect, 
All right, is this making sense? Our config active is RS Connect. Username is session dollar sign user. Otherwise, it's me. All right. Output greeting, hello. All right, and now we also need to figure out what our code name is going to be. So we say hello to ourselves and then we say um, today you shall be known as, there we go. And then we will put in text output um, code name. Okay. Now we have to define what the code name is going to be. So code name. Equals under text user code name, let's call it. And we have to define what that is. So let's stick it up here. User code name. So we've got the pen. We've got the pen with our username and our code name. So we're just going to take our code names table, filter it. Username equals username. And then we'll just pull. So for kicks, all right, so if we say username is this, we've got our code names. What do we end up with? Code ah. names. Where did we where did we fill out? Exposable tuna. Oh, a cod name. name. Oh, those cods. Okay. So it is. We'll just go with cod. Makes it even more <laughs> secretive and suspicious. Let's see, is that going to bite us anywhere else? Those feisty cod. I think we should be in good shape. Okay, so let's test this out. See if this runs locally. Cod name. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fabulous. Let's publish this puppy. Let's go. Code names generator. Let's call it secret generator. <gasps> no. Oh, can't find pull. For every D plier to the rescue. All right, try that again. <gasps> Exposable tuna. So from here, I guess we could like leave it an exercise to the reader um, to build out more assets to round out our secret agent personas. Thank you.